Hello everyone, Dark Blaine here, back playing some more AFK Arena. And in this video, I want to look at the new patch notes on the test server, patch notes uh, 1.70. I just want to look at uh, the new patch notes here in this video. So let's get on with the video. Okay, so I'm going to go over to the mail here. And yeah, the patch notes have already already dropped. So, but I, I just I just want to make a, a video about it though. Just want to make a video about the patch notes. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and start reading the patch notes 1.70 here. And as always, first off, they start by giving us 1,200 diamonds after the event or after the update has been added, which I did collect. I collected the 1,200 diamonds that they that they gave us. So, yeah, let's move over to the new heroes here. Out of the new Light Bearer hero, Moro, the Dark Crow. So, it looks like they're adding another Light Bearer hero. So, the Light Bearers are probably the worst faction in the entire game. They, most of the Light Bearers don't see any use anymore. So, hopefully Moro, I'm going to call him Moro. Uh, hopefully, uh, this uh, hero can provide some use in the uh, game. The new hero Moro, the Dark Crow, will be available to test play from local time 12-08-2021-1900. Uh, Again, as always, they're allowing us to uh, test play the hero. The Bountiful Trials event will be available for Moro, the Dark Crow, as of local time 12-08-2021-1900. And also, as always, they're giving us the Bountiful Trials for Moro. So, Nothing new there. Added new guild trials play mode. Players can visit Moro's arena of trials and use the new hero in different formations to defeat enemies of increasing difficulty levels and win rewards. Okay, so guild trials play mode. That's, that's something I've never really seen before. When you uh, visit Moro's arena of trials, Use the hero in uh, different formations, and then you can defeat uh, enemies with increasing difficulty and get more rewards from that. So we'll have to see what that uh, does for the uh, arena trials here. And that's it for new heroes. Time for the new additions and optimizations here. Added a new skin for Arthur Pendragon called King's Break, which can be purchased for a discounted price at the wardrobe during a limited event period. This skin will be removed from the wardrobe after the event. So they're giving us, uh, we have the new skin for Arthur here, King's Break. And it doesn't say anything about it being, uh, about it being within an event. It doesn't say about like getting it for free from an event, I should say. So it looks like this, uh, skin might be, uh, pay to, uh, win. You might, you might have to pay this, uh, pay for this skin. Which going on, which the in graveyard thing going on right now, uh, a lot of people might not uh, buy this skin here. Added a new skin for Entendre, Desert Fury, called Summer Moon, which can be acquired from participating in the upcoming event or purchased for a discounted price at the wardrobe. So here's Entendre's skin, Summer Moon. This one looks like you can get it from the from an event here. So it looks like this one you can get for free. So. The, the one I was looking most forward to is Arth, was Arthur's skin, so saying that it might not be uh, for free, the Arthur skin might not be for free, is kind of disappointing to me. Added Crystal Vault. Players whose resonating crystal reach that the required level will be able to access the Crystal Vault and purchase rare items. So it looks like uh, if your resonating crystal is at a is at the level required, you'll be able to get uh, even more uh, items, P purchase rare items from the crystal vault. It doesn't say what level your resonating crystal has to be at, but we'll have to see about that there. Added the new limited time event called the Big Give Back, which becomes available on local time 15-08-2021-1900. So here's I'm guessing this is the event where the Entendre skin will be, the big give back, so we'll have to see what that event looks like. Added the adventure Lost in the Wild to the Voyage of Wonders feature, which will be available from local time 13-08-2021-1900. 
So as always, they're adding another Voyage of Wonder, Lost in the Wild. So just some more rewards there from the Voyage of Wonder. Added the adventure, a Windfall Gorge to the Trials of God feature. Players can unlock this adventure by completing stage 35-30 of the campaign and by completing 100% of the Windfall Gorge adventure found within the Wandering Balloon. So once again, they're adding another Trial of God here. And it's the Windfall Gorge. You have to be past 35-30 in order to get it. And you have to complete 100% of the Windfall Gorge in the Wandering Balloon. Since they're adding the Trials of God here, I'm, so I'm assuming they're going to be adding a new a class exclusive artifact, which here it is. Added a new support class exclusive artifact called the Oceanic Strings, which can be acquired from the Trials of God Windfall Gorge. So this is going to be a support class one here. I think this is the fourth one of the four of the of the fifth uh, class exclusive artifacts that they have for this uh, third round of class exclusive artifacts. I believe the last one they have to add here are is the ranger one. We'll have to see what this support one does. The oceanic strings. Reduce the difficulty of certain floors between 950 and 1000 of the King's Tower and also added more floors, bringing the total number of floors to 1100. So it looks like they're just reducing the difficulty of some stages and bringing the stages up to 1100 in the King's Tower. Players can now climb up to 630 floors within each of the four faction towers. Simultaneously, the difficulty of some floors between 570 and 600 have also been reduced. So it looks like they're adding more floors to the four faction towers. Reduce the difficulty of certain floors between 360 and 390 of the Inferno Fortress and Celestial Sanctum. And also added more floors bringing the total number of floors to 420 for both towers. So it looks like they're doing pretty much the same thing for the Inferno Fortress and Celestial Sanctum as they did with the four uh, faction towers. Optimize the Oak Inn's furniture draw mechanic. Duplicate mythic furniture will not be repeated drawn, repeatedly drawn before a hero completes their nine piece set. Now this sounds really good. Sounds what I'm getting here is that no matter what, you will you will never get a duplicate furniture unless if you have their nine nine of nine set. So it looks like you looks like you don't have to worry about getting duplicate furniture really anymore with uh, this with this update. Added new rare enhancement tokens to the barracks. The goods within the barracks will be refreshed when this update goes live. Looks like they're adding rare enhancement tokens, so pretty good there. Adding more stuff to the stores. After reaching Ascended 5 stars with the Celestials and Hypogeans available within the Challenger store, the original heroes will be replaced with Elemental Shards except Flora, the Serene Promise. The goods within the Challenger store will be refreshed when this update goes live. So it looks like as soon as you get 5 stars with the Celestial Hypogeans, so you have Athalia, Aziz, uh, I believe Orthos and Zolrath are in there. Except for Flora, you don't get it with Flora, you will get uh, elemental shards from that. So, the one of the enhancement resources, or engraving resources, I mean. Updated popularity boards to include popular heroes and formations used in the Celestial Sanctum, Infernal Fortress, and Twisted Realm, Grotesque Mage. So, it looks like they're going to be giving us uh, updated giving us popular heroes and formations in the Celestial Sanctum and Infernal Fortress, which sounds good. And also for the Twisted Realm, specifically the Grotesque Mage. Added Elemental Shards and element, Elemental cords, Cores as selectable rewards for the monthly card and deluxe monthly card, and adjusted the amount of some rewards. Also increased the amount of some rewards that can be unlocked in the monthly card for some VIP levels. So it looks like they're pretty much adding the engraving resources to the monthly and deluxe monthly card. And yeah, adjusting some resources as well. So pretty good there. Adjusted the rules of Legends Championship group stage so that formations become locked three hours prior to the tournament's start. A formation lock countdown timer has also been added to the interface. 
So I, I don't I don't uh, participate in a Legends Championship. I'm not powerful enough to do that. But it looks like for those that are, are able to do that, your formations will be locked three hours prior to the tournament's start. Uh, the unlock requirement for the Force Mania mode has been changed to Stage 3-28. So it looks like they're changing uh, how far into the game you have to be in order to get the Force Mania. Which the Force Mania, I believe, was the three was uh, the match three event with uh, Pippa. It was a uh, it was brought into the game, I believe, during like the winter season. So that is all the adjustments there. Now we're going to go to hero adjustments and changes, starting with Mezoth the Abysmal Butcher. Fix an issue that was occurring when Mezoth died while using Ultimate Ability Devour, which caused the prison enemy to be moved closer to Mizoth location. So I, n I never really, I don't use Mizoth that often, so this, uh, this bug does not really, uh, not really go to me, or doesn't concern me really, because I haven't really seen it that much. Walker the Lone Ranger. Made an adjustment to the pellet damage for Walker's ultimate ability, Saloon Blast. Please see the in-game skill description for specifics. Hopefully this uh, pellet damage adjustment will at least make Walker a little bit better. I did I did think that Walker's uh, pellet damage was very weak, so I, hopefully they buff that a lot. Made adjustments to the crit damage amplification and crit damage resistance attributes. Please see the in-game description for specifics. So they're adjusting uh, CDA and CDR here. And this update will only affect the AFK Arena test server. Final adjustments on the live servers will be determined when the official update is launched. So, yeah, this is pretty much the end of the patch notes here. So, yeah, the, yep, that's pretty much the end of the patch notes. I'm looking forward to Walker being adjusted here. Uh, what else am I looking forward to, I guess? Looking forward to the new Light Bear Hero. Hopefully the, the Light Bear Hero can bring some... Use, usability to the light bears. Looking forward to the support class exclusive artifact and the uh, new event that they're having with uh, with uh, Arthur's skin and Entendre's skin. So yeah, this is going to be pretty much the end of the video. I just wanted to look at the patch notes again here. So thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe, like, and comment. Anything you want to see me do in AFK Arena and I might do it in the future. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.